Right, let's talk to Frostfinger in a minute. Let's watch this sparring match. Fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. You fight like a girl. I wanted the other guys to be like, that's highly offensive and misogynistic. As such, I would like you to stop doing that. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Efficient. Huh. It's warm. Huh. It's the only thing that's warm in this blooming place. Is that guy shooting a crossbow at like super close quarters? <laughs> I, love, I was fast. Just. You recruits. You come. You train. You fight. You die. Nihilist? Who are you, boy? I'm Garrett Tuttle. Nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Oh, not what Garrett I wanted to say. Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. Kinda. You, know you weren't there for the fight. Sir? It was a bit rough. From Duncan Tuttle. Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. What? As if it's a knighthood. What? So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Gruff voice. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. No, uh, we'll start your training in the morning. Think I'm getting on his good side. You need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Think I'm getting on his good side. I, I think I'm gonna warm him up. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. No, I want a slow, quasi-valiant death, mate. I want to take down as many wildlings as I can. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. Okay, that's that's just not factual. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Mm. Let's just get to the Great Hall. My eye is fucked up. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? Oh, I am gonna bring cut some that fuck. Pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? It's yeah. Hideous. Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Do you know what? Real shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Do you know what? All of that was uncalled for. And the moment I'm a little bit better, I'm gonna cut a bitch. We have business in the Great Hall. Go round. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. Hmm. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house. Oh. Move now. I ain't gonna back down, mate. Go on then, my lord. Go 
good man. <sighs> Let's go. Good man. That was how everything should be handled. Mother trucker. Ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. There's too much arguing in this house right now. This is gonna go bad. We need somebody in charge. Roderick. My boy. Come join us. You smell like a death cart. Ha oh. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. No. There we go. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. I'm not here to talk about my elf. No, man. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think yeah. you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. You will shut up. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. Thank you. We need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Do whatever it takes. Ryan will not remain hostage at High Point. Perhaps it's time to talk about the Glenmores. Glenmores? You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've mm. returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Yep. Because if we can get me Your married to them, they'd be allied to us. Speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. He's barely recovered. A betrothed coming to Ira. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately mm -hmm. need. That would be Their pretty good. Become oath bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes. This marriage could be our chance. The only course, chance we've really got. Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been <laughs> fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. Yeah, by. if we starve them out, they riot. Put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just hand away. That one, I cannot decide. We keep them fed, or take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Because if they get drunk, she comes over. No, they're gonna get lecturers. To discuss. That's then. That would be bad. Mesa, All right. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Oh, funeral. Okay. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Kind of. Now that I'm in a position of power. <laughs> Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Mm. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. 
Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. This is really sad now. It was really nice before, now it's really sad. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Right, cool. Okay, that's setting up what we got to do next. Because obviously now, 